This Wednesday, following our live mic'd up show, don't miss our dispatch from the front lines. Fox News comes out, where we reveal to you the deception and deceit going on at the conservative juggernaut Fox News. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. For anyone who has one of those Pollyanna, doesn't want to see the reality because it's too ugly, kill the messenger type personalities, consider this. If you are content to stick your head in the sand and think that the serious, deep problems in the church are just going to evaporate soon when certain bishops and theologians have died or retired, think again. Case in point, a priest from the Archdiocese of Boston, Cardinal Sean O'Malley's Archdiocese, wrote and published a letter in his weekly bulletin this week that is nothing less than scandalous. Monsignor Paul Garrity of St. Catherine of Siena Parish wrote the following, quote, It is very easy to forget that Mary would have been an unwed mother were it not for Joseph. It is also easy to forget that Joseph was not the natural father of Jesus, but became his foster father and protector, along with his new bride Mary. And the circumstances surrounding the birth of Jesus should fill us all with a deep respect and empathy for the poor and unwed mothers of our day. Taken all together, the first family of Christianity reminds us that there is no such thing as normal. Every family is different, and this means that we need to broaden our understanding of family life beyond TV sitcoms and applaud the virtues of family living wherever we find them. Two-parent families, single-parent families, blended families, families with two mommies or two daddies, and adoptive families. How is this man still in a Roman collar and being allowed to present himself as a priest? It is beyond disgraceful for him to say that the diabolical evil of children being raised in a same-sex marriage household should be accepted by Catholics is disgusting. Why, oh why, when, oh when, is this constant pandering to the sin of Sodom on the part of so many clergy going to end. You cannot look at this situation and conclude anything other than this priest has no supernatural faith. To even think that the Holy Family, the Incarnation, the Immaculate Conception, and St. Joseph could in any way be compared to a homosexual couple sodomizing each other with children around says all you need to know about the state of his faith. We've attached a link to the full story if you can bear to read it. St. John of the fourth gospel, St. John, the beloved apostle, would not even stay in the same building as the heretic Serinthus. St. John went into the public baths one day and learned by chance in a discussion that Serinthus was in the same building. He immediately got up and left and publicly and loudly denounced Serinthus on the way out. That's how heretics should be treated. Heresy must be attacked and called out, and those who preach it certainly shouldn't be allowed to wear Roman collars. Wasn't there enough child abuse in the physical order in the Archdiocese of Boston that we now have to tolerate spiritual child abuse by having priests say they can be raised in these evil situations? The long night of corruption in the church is nowhere near at an end, folks. It has become institutionalized, and you have to get mad about it. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. January starts a brand new quarter for us this weekend, and we're happy to present you with our latest slam-bam lineup of new programs that Charlie here has helped edit to help sharpen your mind and deepen your love for our Holy Mother, the Church. You know, all of our new programs are being posted this Sunday. This Sunday. Wait a minute. I just had kind of an epiphany. Fitting given this time of year, right? You're going to sign up for a premium account on Sunday and get on board with churchmilitant.tv, the world's first Catholic TV station solely on the internet. So let's drift over to one of our editor's editing stations here and take a look at some of the new programs we have coming up for you this quarter. 
First up, losing my religion. Father Lewis from the Fathers of Mercy takes us through some of the main reasons why so many Catholics are fleeing the Holy Church at record numbers and how not to succumb to the heretical modernism of our time and lose your religion. Also beginning this quarter, we have Wisdom of the Fathers, a program where my own father, who is very wise, Russ Voris, touches on the lives of the most famous intellectual giants of the early church, people like St. Augustine, St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Gregory the Great, all that and more on Wisdom of the Fathers. Also coming out of the gate this quarter, we have Moral Compass, and this is a really, really cool show. In this program, Simon Rafe and I discuss the moral dilemmas of our own time and how we as Catholics can inform our consciences in light of the Church, Sacred Scripture, and the sacraments. Also, we'll be bringing you our latest conferences and talks on a variety of topics from around the world. And don't forget, when you sign up for this churchmilitant.tv premium channel, you get complete access to our full archive of amazing Catholic content. Over 25 programs, some long, some short, but all of them teaching the Orthodox Catholic faith to you and your family and your friends. There's catechesis for adults, catechesis for kids, history shows for adults, history shows for kids, theology classes from priests, philosophy classes from professors, anything you can think of, you'll find right here on the churchmilton.tv premium channel. So please help support our apostolate by signing up for a premium account and we'll continue to bring you these great high quality Catholic productions. We are here for two reasons, the church and you. Help us help the church and help us help you. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.